Hi guys, welcome back to Bali Polish. My name is Leslie and today we're going to do a first impressions video which I haven't done before so I'm pretty excited and kind of nervous. So if I sound all crazy it's because I'm a little nervous and not quite sure how this will go. But the foundation is this Innisfree Ampio Intense Cushion with SPF 34 PA++. I don't know what the plus plus PA thing is, what it means, but hope it's something good because it's plus plus. <laughs> But I'm in the shade 21, or at least that's the one I got. So I hope this works. So this is how the packaging looks like. It's in this white, kind of off-white compact. It's really shiny. You can see the reflection of my window. And let's open her up. So like all standard cushion foundation, it comes with a big mirror. And then it comes with a cushion that holds like this. You can hold your finger and kind of dab. And it has a tab right here where you can put it in and it separates the product from the cushion. So I haven't opened it yet. So let's open it up and see what the color's like. This is how the color looks. And I'm just gonna do a little tap. A very, that was actually a really like gentle tap. So let's see this color. Mm. Pretty white. Feels really moisturizing, but let's hope it matches my red ass face right now. I feel a little bit warm, but just in general, my face is always just blotchy and red. So I hope this evens it out. Let's take a good look at my skin beforehand. If you look here, there is, well, acne scarring that takes forever to go away. It takes me like years for scars to go away. So. My cheeks are red, naturally red, with scars. I don't know if you can see that. My chin's kind of red. That's my forehead. This is like a new one that just starting to go away. You see that line that I'm getting and my dark circles. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of presses that's two presses, I'm probably gonna do one more. So that's three. Doesn't look like there's much, but let's just give it a try first. I'm pretty blind, so I'll be very close to the mirror, so excuse that. It feels kind of cooling. Hmm. So this is with one sheer layer. Let me take a look. I have to put on my glasses or I can't see, but let me use this little mirror and take a look. It's a little bit light, I feel, but hopefully I'll oxidize a little bit because I hate it when it's perfect match and it oxidizes and it's shade too dark. It did not bad with my redness. It's slightly stinging a little bit right here, which I noticed that for the last couple of days has been really irritated. So I'm hoping it's just because it's irritated and not because it's reacting to this product. Um, that's a pretty dewy finish, which my skin is already kind of dewy, but this is definitely not a matte foundation. So that's how this half looks like. This half. So this is how it is with two sheer layers. I did, and there's no issues with building it up. The only thing is, I noticed that my a little bit of my dry flakes are starting to show a little bit right here. I don't know if you can actually see. You see that? See the dry skin? You start seeing a little bit more now. Here's kind of how it is with two sheer coats. And I kind of pat it over certain red areas a little bit more. But I would say it's light coverage. I mean, you might be able to build it up, but I'm not the type to put multiple layers of things on because I, I don't know, I just, a little bit more and I'm all of a sudden I just feel like it's cake face. I'm just so used to not wearing makeup, but. Sorry guys, I disappeared for a long time because my window's open and I could start hearing people outside my door. And the next thing I know, there's like a whole group of my family outside my front door and we're just hanging out. So I'm back and let's finish my makeup because I look weird. 
Sorry for the way the light is right now because the sun's kind of setting now and it's kind of late because I got distracted in the middle of filming. So my first impression of this foundation is that I like it. It's very easy to blend. It's very easy to layer. It doesn't really cling to dry patches. I mean, I know with the second layer and I kind of pat it extra too on certain spots that it did slowly start to see dry spots a little bit more, but it's very dewy and most foundations, like right away you would see very obvious in your face, like really like cracked lines. So this one's actually, I think, really great for dry skin. And I think it's very portable and easy to use. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. I hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend, week day, a great week. Okay, I hope you guys have a great week. My hair is all crazy and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. My hair is all crazy. What's up with this? That's the look I'm going for. Bye. Hi guys. It's actually like 3.30 in the morning right now. And I kind of snuck away into like the guest room, which is where I usually film, to kind of give like a very last update. Um, I haven't touched up at all. I've been eating and hanging out and doing chores and <sighs> semi falling asleep in my bed. Um, I was chatting with Selena on WhatsApp and with Tim, her boyfriend, and we were cracking up. So my eyeliner is completely smudged because I was tearing up like crazy. My blush is actually still on. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it in the mirror. My eyeshadow's still there. There's still color, but it's pretty faded. I mean, there's like a lot of breakup for the foundation here, which is what usually always happens for me because it gets kind of oily here, but also the skin's really dry and patchy here, and I just feel like the makeup isn't set a wall there for a period of times, but nothing crazy. I am getting oily now, you can see. I haven't blotted or anything. Mm. That's how it is at the end of the day. It's been over 10 hours, so not too bad. I'm liking it so far. My hair's crazy. I'm surprised what else is new. But I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed and if you want to see more of this train. Peace.